move and slide is not working in Godot 4. What's going on? When I make my Godot 4 project, I can't move properly. It's not really working. But what's going on? Well, let's in this video, I'm going to explain what's going on. So in Godot 3, 3.5, as you can see, this 3.5 stable. Uh, hopefully, I think this is the last uh, latest version. This works. So here we set every process function. We set velocity to zero. And then we check if anything is being pressed, right? And then if it is, we adjust the velocity properly. And if, if it's not zero, um, then we move, right? Velocity equals normalized times speed. That's how we set the velocity to a decent speed. And then we move and slide with speed, right? Or with velocity, sorry. So this would work properly. Whoops. Let's make sure we do the test scene. So here, as you can see, I can move in eight different directions and collide with objects properly. Now, this would work. And that's because move and slide allows that to work because we can pass through velocity and that would work fine. However, now let's try move and collide. Move and collide always exist in three, in Godot 3, but I feel like no one ever used it in Godot projects, um, in tutorials and stuff, but this also works properly, right? As you can see here, it, it works like eight directions, right? However, in Godot 4, they've, there used to also be in Godot 3. Last thing I'll show. Whoops. What did I do? Ooh. I did something weird. Mm. I'll just ignore that for now. Okay, let's go to Godot 4. Um, Godot 4, as you can see, here, move and slide is not working. First of all, move and slide, they've removed the velocity. You can no longer pass through velocity. Move and slide automatically takes the velocity and just moves, right? So if I try playing this, it's almost the exact same thing, except as you can see, if I try setting it to zero, it won't even work. It won't even move because yeah, nothing's working, right? So if I, I have to delete this, that's first thing. And then if I move or if I try moving, it's not really working because I'm not resetting the velocities, right? So let's figure out why. Let's try move and collide. That will work. Hopefully. It should. I tested this a few times. It should work. So let's play. Whoa. Whoops. Let me just... Um, velocity. Oh, that should... Oh, I got to be setting the velocity to zero. That's why. So here, yeah, there we go. So now we can move properly with velocity. You can also normalize the velocity in this one. I'm not going to play around with the velocity too much, but that's how you move and slide in Godot 4 because there's no longer a move and slide. Move and slide, in my opinion, I'm not actually 100% sure if this is why, but move and slide, I believe, was intended for platformers. Move and slide is very, it works really well with character body. And as you can see, all these functions are, well, they're used for platformers right get floor get uh slide all this stuff is on ceiling this stuff checks if you're on a platformer now however move and collide it was always a thing but it works a bit better with rpgs right and moving in different directions there's no gravity if there is no gravity this is a good way to move and collide because another way to move a player is using position however position doesn't work because when we move position we don't have velocity and the problem with moving only the position is that when you're changing the player's position in uh and trying to collide with something it won't work because the the engine itself is not looking or it's not checking for collisions unless you move and slide with um Velocity. So move, you would have, unless you implement your own sort of uh, collision check, right? So move and slide and move and collide are going to check for collisions. However, move and slide no longer works in Godot 4. So we have to move and collide, as you can see. So that is how we collide and actually move in four different directions in Godot 4. Um, that's kind of a big change in Godot 3 to 4. Um, I think that was a bit confusing for me and maybe hopefully some of you hopefully i've clarified this because um when if you are making an rpg move and collide is the thing to use you can also put a velocity through this you can adjust the speed if you'd like um let's maybe do two i don't know let's try that and see how fast it is it's a lot faster or it's like double as fast right so you can adjust it however you want you can just normalize it you don't even have to add speed just normalize it and then that'll normalize it. If you don't know what normalizing does, it just rounds it up basically. Um, I'm not gonna explain exactly what it does. You can try to figure it out on your own, but basically it just rounds it up from whatever to whatever. So um, hopefully that helped you guys. Um, last thing actually, I'm going to give you guys my script. This, um, no, actually I'll do that in a different video. Uh, hopefully this helped uh, clarify from Godot 3 to 4 because it can be a bit confusing. Um, and yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, um, subscribe down below, like the video, comment down for the algorithm, give me a comment, 
give me a comment right now. If you don't give me a comment, I'll cry. Um, and yeah, join my Discord if you haven't already. So do that. And I will see you guys next time. 